Oh my god, we should play Cards Against Humanity. We should do a Cards Against Humanity episode. What's Cards Against Humanity? The greatest <laughs> game ever. I feel like we could get in trouble with Cards Against Humanity. Uh, maybe, it all depends on how you answer. Is it an official game yes, or it's yes, a card it's game. You can buy it at Target. You can buy it. Mum no. doesn't like sex man things, you okay, know that, Jack. I know. Yes, I know Mum doesn't like sex man things. I didn't bring up sex man things. I think it was my fault. Oh, yeah. was Kelly's fault. She <laughs> brought it up. Okay, Christmas. The birth of Christ. Our yes. saviour. Yes. Crazy. Hey, but that's how it goes. I need to go to a happier place. I feel romantic. Don't half Just go to bed, darling. Oh! Oh! All right, change the subject. Happy f***ing Christmas. Well, before we get into Christmas... Yeah? How's it? Is everyone feeling festive? Very. Are you? I feel like I'm the no. most festive one this year. I got my tree up first. I decorated my house first. I did my Christmas shopping first. I've been organized yeah, and on no it, and I'm on loving it. Yet. I keep. I'm too lazy. I will do it today. I Mom, will please just put the decorations hire on. my friend to come and do it for you. Why don't you? All right. It'll it'll be beautiful. You won't have to be up a ladder for five days. It is but it, like it's something I always no. Do. I know, but just like let someone carry the heavy weight for you and just do the finishing touches. How's that? We won't. We're gonna just skip over Dad and Christmas because we already know the answer, which is. How do you feel about Christmas? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop it. It's Dad the Grinch. doesn't like Christmas. He is the Grinch. Dad's a combination of the Grinch and Scrooge, except but... he's reverse Grinch. He's reverse Grinch. Whereas the Grinch took everyone's gifts. Dad likes giving gifts. He does. He, does. he loves giving gifts. But he doesn't like Christmas. <laughs> oh God, that frightened me. Are you oh. right, uh, Mom? That's a uh, that's one of our sponsors' things. That's the fume. 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 Oh, sorry. Okay. Do you want to, Mom? Do you want to try it? What is it? Do we have a fume handy? What is it? I so, thought it was a tea bag. No. What is it? So okay, so fume is. I was a... so tempted to say something <laughs> so bad because of you guys. No, right I now. know what you were going to say. What was I going to say? Something sexual, because I said the word tea bag. I thought it was a bloody tea bag. So it you was... know what tea bagging is, Mom? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Do you? Why is this sex talk? I don't like Mom it. Mom doesn't like sex man talk. Okay, let's move on from sex man talk and talk about Jesus. Okay. Um, okay, so... Daddy, what's the matter? I think I'm just sitting here quietly while you... I'm just sitting quietly. Okay. It's Christmas. <laughs> All right, so Christmas. Um, how? What's everyone's Christmas plans? Let's start there. How's this? Because... This what? is... it. This Christmas is kind of hard for me because I'm not going to be with you guys and I'm so used to our Christmas tradition of Christmas Eve doing nothing on Christmas Day and, like, eating everything that we have left in the fridge on Boxing Day in mm. front of the TV in your pajamas. And that's been what I've done my whole life. And this year I'm going to be in Iowa. Are you hosting a party? We are hosting a party, but we're going to take on our tradition, which I thought was really nice of them, and we're going to do everything for Christmas on Christmas Eve. Mm. So we get to be in our jammies all day on Christmas Day. With baby. Yeah. I'm really excited. Is Sid like waking up to Christmas yet? Is he like, is he figuring it out? He, I mean, not in the sense of like what Santa Claus is and yeah. all of that, but he loves the lights. He loves the trees. He loves anything that sparkles. It's really fun for him. So tomorrow, me and mom are taking him on the um, Christmas train ride around Griffith Park oh, fun. with all the lights and I'm very oh, yeah. excited to see how he enjoys what that. What time is that? Remember, it's at six. Okay. That'll be fun. And you and dad, what's your Christmas? What are you guys doing? What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know yet, do you? Well, there's been some change-ups. So I guess oh, there's... Oh, yeah, there's been... So I usually we come over on Christmas Eve, but I don't have the kids until Christmas afternoon because they're with their mother. So... I mean, we're just trying to figure out what to what to do. So I think we'll probably just see if mom and dad want to come over towards the end of the day on Christmas Day at my house. Um, so, yeah. And we'll probably be like, time to get out of the house by then. Yeah. Yeah. 
five o'clock is a good time yeah. to, you know, mosey, mosey mm-hmm. on over to the valley. I feel like genuinely sad that I'm not going to be with you guys. But you know what I will say is that now that, you know, you have your own family, there's something nice about having your own traditions. Like now that you yeah. can be like, oh, you know what? This is the way that I want to do it with my kids and like my, you know, my partner. It's there is something nice about that. I mean, like I'm totally putting out the the milk and the cookies, even though he is one, and will have no idea that I did it. I'm still doing it. Yeah. And... You need to do pictures of him with it. Yeah, you should, and yeah, you can like set up like a hidden camera and like film Santa coming. Oh, speaking of that. Yeah. Remind me to show you something after this because my friend came up with a business model and is I think he's looking for investors and it's a really, really good idea and I think that you might know somebody. Oh, okay. And I think Daddy's bored. Sorry. I'm tired to really soon. Tired. Did you not sleep good no, night? No, Dad's been really working out in the gym, Mum. I, I know. Are you want really the games great. train to Swalville? Sorry? Are you on the gains train to Swalville? Oh, is this another I'm sexual? No, no, this is sexual. It's what you fucking say to someone who's been working out a lot. They're getting gains. Gains, gains in the gym. Oh, you Swalville is when you fucking I don't trust anything you ripped. say. Oh. It's probably some repulsive group sexual activity. <laughs> Look what you've done. Look what you've done to my relationship <laughs> with my mother. <laughs> Um, but have you been working out a lot? Yeah, that's true. I've been working out every day. You've been feeling like good? really going for it. I'm trying to get back on my feet, you know. Yeah. That's good. I think I've decided what I want for Christmas. What? Oh, here we go. Plastic surgery. Oh, fuck. Plastic I... surgery. Yeah. Kelly, don't. Don't. Stop. Well, I just think it's it's my We're time. Too early. Well... I'm pretty sure that you were... No. You were what? How old were you when you first started your journey down the road of cosmetic surgery? Early 40s. Okay. Well, Kelly's... Hello. 39. Can you fucking believe it? 39. Nearly 40. 40's right around the corner. I know. I'm not, like, bummed out about it. I'm excited because I feel like when you're 40, you get respected more. You know what I... You know what weirds me out about as I get older? Is like you you start to kind of go, oh wait, like I'm at the halfway point, or I'm a, I'm a, you know, you kind of it just freaks me out a little bit. Like I'm like, shit, like it makes me feel like I haven't done enough. Yeah, tell you what, when you get forty, the engine gets starts to get faster. Your speed gets, it goes by so quickly. Yeah, and every ten years after that, picks up more speed, and suddenly you're seventy five. And you go, how the fuck did I get here? Mm. Yeah. And then you start to go, fucking, I ain't got that much time left. Yeah, well, it's that thing of like, you can't waste, don't don't waste a day. No. Like, that's why you always get bummed no, you, out but, at you when you're like, that, oh, I'm just things in bed. That you, things <gasps> that used to bother you don't bother you. With, you, you I, I just want to have a simple existence now. I feel mm. like mom has earned the right to spend as much time as she wants in bed. Thank just you. saying. Sure. But mm-hmm. like, they, they go to bed at like seven or eight and stay in bed until. Well, who's going to watch all the TikTok videos with her and stay up all night watching TV? Him. A bit. Go to bed at like him? seven or who's eight. Who's him? Our, our father. Who art in him? Yeah. <laughs> Hallowed be thy name. Yeah, I just, I don't know, it's weird. Getting old's weird. Getting like gray hair. That's weird. Do you think you'll look like Santa one day? Oh, yeah, I'm not going to dye my hair. I'm not going to do any of that. Isn't it weird how two things... You're not going to dye your hair at all? No. ...got fucked up? Yeah. What? That hair doesn't stay the same color and that teeth, you only get... One set. Really one set because the first is just a joke. Mm. So it's like one set of teeth. I think it's because... That somebody fucked up with Didn't that. Didn't they recently figure out a way that your mouth can regrow a tooth? Yes. I read something that they've like they can they've cracked it to where they you you can regenerate teeth. That that, that would save a lot of problems. Yeah, but you, all of a sudden you're going to see the dentist industry being like, but we cannot allow it. Could you, you imagine that, that would yeah. be like my nightmare having to regrow a tooth? Do you like, know why? Anything to do with the dentist is still like. <laughs> do you know why I hate going to the dentist? Why? It's not that I do, I do, I don't like I like I I actually go very regularly. Like I go two to three times a year for a cleaning. I hate the upsell. 
Oh, they're always trying to get you to do something. Oh my God, the upsell at the dentist drives me nuts. Like, oh, welcome. Do you know that they don't do that to me? Well, because I think they're just <laughs> amazed that you're actually in the chair. <laughs> What do you mean? Oh, you need this doing. Oh, you if should you do... had this color teeth or a fang or oh, something. Oh, have you tried this night guard? Have you tried Invisalign? Have you, oh, have we got to do the deep cleaning on you? Well, what's the deep cleaning? It's an additional $1,200. And you're like, what's a deep clean? They use some kind of like sonic thing above your gum line. It's like some fucking thing. And I'm like, I'd do it. Sure. Every couple years. But like, I, I'm, I like religiously brush my teeth. No, I, I, if there's an option to go deeper and be cleaner, I'm gonna take it. Hmm. I uh, wish that. Oh my god, that sounded so out. fucking wrong. Yeah, we're gonna just gloss over that one. I missed it. <laughs> Please don't put that Flying in. No, we are so putting that in. <laughs> Please that's, don't that's put that in. That's the only soundbite we're using from this. They're gonna just see a TikTok video. <laughs> there's an option to go deeper and cleaner. I'm in. <laughs> I meant for my mouth in like clean. Yes, Kelly, for your mouth. <laughs> Ozzy, don't we always say we wish we could take them out and fucking give them a good clean? With like a wire brush mm. and some bleach. Yeah. Those are called dentures. Oh. They've been around for quite some time. <laughs> oh, don't. Hey everyone, it's Jack and Kelly Osborne here, and the Osborne's podcast is sponsored by Fume. We all have our fair share of bad habits with the holiday seasons right around the corner. Sometimes people feel more motivated to start fresh and break those bad habits. But going cold turkey is hard, and there's a better way to do it. We're talking about our sponsor, Fume, the innovative, award-winning, flavored air device that's about to change your life. Say goodbye to vapor and hello to flavored air. Instead of bad, Fume is all about good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy, making it easier than ever to replace those unwanted bad habits. They have amazing flavors and they still taste fresh and natural. I also like having something to fidget with. because No, it is, and look. Yeah, it's like a fidget spinner. Fume has served over 150,000 customers and has thousands of success stories. And there's no reason why you can't be one of those stories. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Try FUM.com and use the code Osborns to save an additional 10% off your order today. Hey everyone, it's Kelly Osborne and I have some news. If you're on a mission to save big this festive season, look no further than Rakuten. I can personally vouch for it as a fashion-loving mom who knows the importance of finding the best deals. What is not to love about Rakuten? Let me give you a little glimpse into my shopping experience with Rakuten. With just a few clicks, I can access a plethora of stores covering everything from home decor to beauty products to travel to all your tech needs. The options are endless. With over 3,700 stores offering cash back, you've got Saks Fifth Avenue, Macy's, YSL Beauty, Dyson, Expedia, you name it, Rakuten has it. When you combine the already amazing holiday sales with cash back from Rakuten, your savings go through the roof. And did I mention membership was free? As someone who loves a good bargain, I can't stress enough how Rakuten has transformed the way that I shop. Start all your shopping trips at Rakuten.com or get the Rakuten app to start saving today. Your cashback really adds up. You know what the have you seen those, you would have on TikTok, those makeup videos with the women with no yes. teeth? Yes. And they, you, and then they, and pop they their give their teeth you tutorials and, on how to do makeup. No, no, no. And their makeup is amazing. At, no, you look at them and you're like, that is a beautiful woman. And then she takes her fucking teeth out and you're like... That have, is a have, homeless woman jumping trains. <laughs> have, have you seen that thing where they get this? So I saw it the other day. They peel, they put this thing on the face. It's like a skin. Uh -huh. And they peel it off. And they put makeup on. And they look fucking 25 it's, years um, old. It's a Korean beauty Oh, makeup. yeah, those Korean face masks. It's I want to go to Korea so badly. It's fucking unbelievable. You, you, have you not... Have you guys no, not I've been to the, to the... Oh, you don't know about when this one sent me in Korea by myself to go and get her fake handbags and this guy like put me in the back of a taxi and then <laughs> took me on a train and I had no idea where I was going and it was terrifying. Trafficked for all, handbags. <laughs> all to get my mom handbags and I was so scared. And then when I got oh, back... Oh, and you didn't get any? No, I got them. But they were good. They, they were, were good. Really hey, good. I was doing it, but like... But the the all those you know there's Korean beauty shops in K Town in L A. 
and they have all of that stuff. You, it, no, it's not sunny, so it's like a, you know, when you get the Oh, butt. it's it's like false cheeks. I want to go to no, 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 no. It's, the it's, beauty it's products like, and a, the... Face a layer of skin on your face. It's like this, and they just pull it off. And they can pull their faces in like any direction. Any direction. Can, and, and if they don't like their nose, they can put a new tip on the end of their nose to give their nose a different shape and or give them a higher. Yeah. Do they have a Santa Claus one? I don't know. Yeah, throw it over here. Do they have a Santa Claus one? You can put it on and look like Santa. <laughs> um, maybe that's what we should. Oh my God. Next episode, what? let's get Korean face masks and we no, can do... can I tell you what we need to go and do? Why don't we get somebody in here Can we do, do the Korean over? head spa where we go and they do that, that head washing situation yeah. and we could do a live podcast from there. I'll do anything, please. I'll what is sleep. it? What do they do? Oh, my God, Mom. I want to go so bad. So they... Um, Christmas present. Get now she's good. clicking. Don't click. They, uh, they lie you down and... It's like you, they prepare you like you're going for a facial or a massage. Yeah. And then they put Merry you in Merry Christmas, this, everybody. They put you in this head What machine. kind of facial? Shut up, Jack. They put you in this machine that sprays your water and it like is meant to be amazing for your scalp and you get a full like body treatment. I mean, the Korean beauty products, I mean, Pearl always gets them and. They're unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. We should all do. Let's do it. Let's have a, a Korean. We could. We could really pull in some of that K-pop uh, following. Um, okay. So the bulk of this podcast is supposed to be about Christmas. So. Yes. Um, all right. Let me ask you. What was what in your living memory when you were younger? What was the best Christmas you ever ever had? I remember a Christmas at Beale House yeah, one year. I remember a Christmas at Beale House. Was I in jail? No, 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 you weren't. No, it was. Uh, we were all there. I, I remember. remember what we got as well. I remember. We got this luggage with our names on it. We got. Um, I remember we got these yellow cars. Yep. We got. Uh, I got a like playhouse, a pink one that you could like cook and have a kitchen in it, and I, I remember that. Mm. But I. What I remember the most about it's not necessarily a Christmas, but it was Christmas time because mum would go all out and it was so fun. And we'd listen to that one CD yeah, over and over again. Now Christmas. Yeah, now, now, <laughs> now Christmas. Now Christmas 92. Yeah, but they're releasing all of those again because they're so popular. Oh. And they're great. Yeah, I, yeah they're fantastic. Where, where are all your th things I used to buy off the road, on the road, by the way? What things? Your the Beanie beans. Babies. We have them all still. Yeah, they're in a, I, we found them in storage. Yeah, mm -hmm. I never got rid of them. That's uh, so supposed to be an investment. Some of them, like I'm looking for some of them, I'm gonna go through it because I remember which ones are rare and which ones are. Not. Yeah, it's weird though. The market on it really shifts. Dropped, yeah. yeah, like you can, like some you'll hear will sell for like you know thousands of but dollars. But it's like I can't part with them because I cared so much about collecting them and loved yeah. them so much when I was little. I can't part with them, and I still have my Teletubby dolls as well. Yeah. So Beale House was a house we lived in from what eighty. Five until From two to seven. When did it was because we moved to LA in ninety one. Yeah, we were li we moved out of Beale House to go to LA. Yeah, yeah. we no no we didn't. We yes, we did. We were, we got rid of Beale House when we were in LA, Daddy. I don't know. Yeah, oh, we God, sold it. There's that many yeah. fucking houses. Uh, do you remember when we were in that house in nineteen ninety one and we experienced our first earthquake? Maybe I may have. And slept we were all it. in bed with mum. Do you remember mum? Of course. I, I going back to Christmas though. I remember us the the staircase that at the top of the staircase mm -hmm. to the right was my bedroom, mm -hmm. and around the landing was Kelly and Amy's, and then you went through that door, and then it was it your room. It went to the other side of the house. Yeah. But don't you remember going through those doors to the other side of the house in the morning on Christmas, and you'd look over the banister and you could see how Mum had laid everything out, and you just ran down those stairs because it was so exciting. But for some reason, I remember opening up the Christmas Christmas gifts at the bottom of the stairs of where my bedroom was. Where the kitchen, the kitchen was. Yeah. I remember being sat on the stairs and, and you guys handing me mm -hmm. gifts. You yeah. were so little. I was tiny, yeah. Tiny, weeny little boy. But you know what's funny? I think that the reason why we probably remember so much from being young is because we moved so much and we weren't in like a, con it wasn't a consistent routine. We were here, we were there. We're, so you have mm -hmm. these like poignant things of like, oh, we're traveling when you're three or four, you're like, this is different. Or we're living in a new house. That's different. So we have, I have these like 
markers, uh, like these situational markers where I could remember By things. the houses that yeah. you were in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of nice. Hey everyone, it's Jack Osborne, and the Osborne's podcast is sponsored by Liquid IV. It's the holiday season, which means it's one of the busiest times of the year. I've been traveling back and forth during the holiday season, visiting family and friends, and let me tell you, I can get pretty damn depleted. That's where Liquid IV comes in. They're the hydration brand that's got your back, no matter what your holiday plans entail. What I love most about Liquid IV is that it's not just for high energy athletic endeavors. It's designed for everyday hydration. I drink it in the morning sometimes. I keep a little sachet in my bag when I go to jujitsu. The sugar-free range offers three delicious options, white peach, green grape, and lemon lime. Just one stick of Liquid IV mixed with 16 ounces of water hydrates you better than water alone, delivering three times the electrolytes of leading sports drinks. It's a hydration solution that you can trust to keep you feeling your best during this busy time of year. Grab your Liquid IV Hydration Multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code Osborns at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration using the promo code Osborns at liquidiv.com. Do you remember any of your early Christmases, Ozzy, as a kid? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I remember when my father said, you can stay up late till I'm going to show you the most beautiful woman in the world. And I thought, wow, I've seen them. Elizabeth Taylor. And that was, that was, that's, uh, and when I met her, that whole thing came back to me. And I thought, wow, I know. I thought of my dad thinking, I saw her dad, I've met her. It's kind of special to me that way. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's kind of like when you played the thing for me. Yeah. <laughs> dad, dad would always tell me all oh, the horror, scariest movie ever made, and put it on for me. Never forget that. <laughs> <laughs> we used to spend a lot of Christmases in Germany. Do you remember all Zermatt? Yeah. Zermatt. Do you remember Zermatt? Zermatt was Christmas. amazing. Were we there for Christmas? Yeah. Or were we there for after? No, it was Christmas, Christmas and New Year. Why do I feel like we were there for so long? Because it, was, it was a long time. It was a long time. We were there for like three weeks. Were we? What? When we were in Zermatt. Just some superficial oh, damage. Oh, yeah. We were there for what, a week, right? No, it was longer because we were there for Christmas and New Year. And we went to Christmas, uh, Christmas Eve, we went to the church, a beautiful little church up the mountain we went to, and it was just all candle lit. It was really beautiful. Do you remember how sick you got? Yeah, I do, actually. I you remember. were so sick. Yeah, I was like laid out for days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that. I remember being really bummed because everyone was going outside to play, but I can remember the morning I woke up and felt good, and I was like, okay, yeah, yeah like, let's go. <laughs> and then he took me up the mountain. We went up, we went to, we went sledding down the, dad thought, yeah, let's go up to the Matterhorn on a sled. <laughs> <laughs> and we get in the chairlift carrying a sled, and he, he puts me on this sled and starts going down the Matterhorn. And it was going so freaking fast. But you were going down the ski slope. It's the ski slope, yes. And, and were dad they going pulled me off the off the the sled and it continued to rocket down the mountain. <laughs> and it hit this skier and his wife it, this skier so <laughs> freaking hard. The guy did a like a backflip, landed <laughs> on the ground. Dad's going, Oh my god, oh my god. I'm between his legs continuing to slide down the ski slope. And his wife goes, Oh, darling, are you okay? And he goes, yes, just some superficial damage. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, but I'll tell you what, that guy had a good attitude. Attitude, Considering yeah. he just got kneecapped by a... Oh, your chest. It was, it was right. Yeah, boom, and he smacked him in the chest. Bloody hell. I will say, Mum does deserve some credit for, like, how amazing our Christmases were when we yeah. were little. They yeah. were amazing. They had to, yeah, they were, they, they were some good Christmases. Remember the lanes, bro? It's only now oh, that you're a parent, we had Jack. A great time at yeah. the lanes, That you bro. realize, like, how, For sure. like, not only how expensive all the things were that we did, but like, that must have. We had listen. One year we were in Hawaii. Then we were in Switzerland. Hawaii was everywhere. fun. Hawaii was amazing. Did you remember you and me in Hawaii? And I got this truck. It was like a GI Joe truck, and we were having like these wars, and we were like. I had, you got me all these G.I. Joes, 
and we had like a we would just play battle in Christmas time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We spent Christmas in Hawaii. We yeah. spent about five of them yeah. in Hawaii. Really? I remember yeah. the one in Palm Springs too. Yeah. Let's go to Chris. Let's go to Hawaii for Christmas. That would be lovely. Let's Fuck do it. it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Fire up the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's Dad's, like, Daddy's got really emotional Dad now. Dad doesn't mm. like Christmas, so. But the food is good. The food is good. You What's can't your deny that. Christmas Listen, food, Dad? Okay. All right, let's do this one. Where's better to spend Christmas in Europe or in the USA? Oh, uh, probably in Europe. Europe, yeah. yeah. Just be- yeah. You get the Christmas fairs. Oh God! You it's... get the weather, the snow. It is. There's so many more traditions surrounding Christmas mm-hmm. in the UK and Europe than there is here. I think. Glue vine, bikini, Sri Lanka. Beautiful. What was the story behind that? We were in. Go on, Ozzy. You tell it. I can't remember. We who. were in. Um, in the jacuzzi. Yeah, but I'm trying to think where in Germany we were. I can't remember the city, but we were going out to one of the Christmas fairs and it was freezing cold and we, we were all wrapped up and we said, all right, let's go and have a glue vine. So we're in What's line. What's glue vine? Because a lot glue of people... vine is warm red mold wine, wine, mold wine with cinnamon and orange. And it's I just love the smell. The I hate the best. Mm. And we were stood in line waiting for the glue vine. And there was this couple that had already got their drinks. And I think they'd got several drinks because they were both roasted. They were out of their minds. <laughs> and this woman, an elderly lady, has got her handbag and she whacks her husband around the top of his head. And he goes, ah, ah, glue he vine. Hit her. Oh, he he hit her up the bum, and she went Kicked flying. Up the bum and yeah, he, she and he went flying. Her, he slipped on his ass. Yeah. yeah, and then he just looked at her, and he goes, glue vine, Sri Lanka, bikini. <laughs> so I've no idea what they were arguing about, but they were like going for each other, and we just always remembered. She bollocked him, and he was that pissed he didn't give a shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> All he was thinking about was going back to Sri Lanka to see women in bikinis while he's drinking glue vine. And it, ever since, whenever we say glue vine or mulled yeah. wine, it's always... Bikini Sri Lanka. Yeah. Ah, okay. And nobody did a thing. Nobody, everybody's just carrying on and these two are at each, you know, just clawing each, each other. other and everybody's just carrying on drinking and <laughs> jolly conversation. What do you think over the years has been our most consistent tradition with Christmas? I think Christmas Eve. Mm-hmm. I think Christmas Eve because I always used to have Christmas Eve because I was always with my parents doing like where my dad was doing Christmas shows in Europe. So we were, we were somewhere in Europe, usually Germany, and it's always Christmas Eve and you put candles. Over there they put... Mm-hmm. Candles with lights on the trees. That's not dangerous. No, not dangerous at all. Mm. And as we were kids, we would light all the candles on the trees. Just and burn down a forest. Yeah, really. <laughs> but, yeah, so wow. that's why we've always done Christmas Eve. Mm. But we also have the tradition of getting all the presents giving out of the way so that we can just be in our gym jams on I, Christmas I can Day. remember one Christmas at Bill House. When you were sick, Jack, and you kept up chucking, so I said to you, Mum, I don't like this. You got to check, check, check him, have him checked out at the hospital. So we had to go to High Wickham Christmas <laughs> Eve. Oh, great. Uh, yeah. About, about, uh, about 12 o'clock at night it was. And we get there, and there's everyone is fucking drunk. Every, all these people, towels and being, being in fights. And... Uh, this cop comes up to me, we we're, we're, were at the back of the line, and he's there, oh, fucking, yeah. Um, and some guy getting bollocked by his mum, he's saying, Sad Christmas to you. <laughs> and so the cop comes to me and mum, and you, you, you were there, Carl, you can you forget that he's got to the front. And it was like a, it was like a fucking medieval butcher shop. Didn't the doctor come to you covered in blood? Yeah. The doctor came in with his apron on. 
rubber apron. And you'd think he'd just come out the local slaughterhouse. I'm not, not, I'm not joking. I'm like, what the fuck is this all about? Well, you know, it's the 80s, socialised healthcare. Yeah. <laughs> like, like when... I'm not joking. I want to ask it to show you, Mum. Fuck this, let's get out of here. That's why I always keep Zofran on hand at home with the kids. Yeah, always. What's um, Zofran is that stuff that stops you from puking and you can give like a half dose to kids, kids after a yeah. certain age and it is a fucking lifesaver. It is. Because if kids keep chucking, up chucking it, they can dehydrate in a flash, you know? Yeah. How old were you when you realized Santa was... Hell no! About the fucking second year she was born. <laughs> she had worked things out before you even thought about it, she would. I, I feel like I remember, I feel like I thought until about 10 or 11. I feel but, like, do you remember at Beale House when Daddy used to do the bells and yeah. the yo-ho-ho? Ho? Which, who was it that shouted down the stairs, we know it's you, Dad? I mean, Amy, I mean, I mean. Mum, that was 100% Amy. Yeah. It's only Daddy fucking drunk again. M no. He, uh, she didn't say that. I'm just, I'm okay, I don't know, I don't mean, uh, no, 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 my exact, exact words were. Do you remember when Oof. we built the obstacle course to catch Santa yes. and we caught Dad in the fishing wire? Well, no, everything I just... everything went clattering down. Well, no, I just remember doing it in my room and no one bothering to get the Christmas list because they just didn't want to... Oh, get I'd, through. I'd, yeah, we Kelly and I'd done, I think you did your room, I did mine, and I no one could get through, so I think it just sat there and I was like... This feels weird. And then you're like, because there's a trap. Santa knows and he won't come and get your Christmas list. And I think that was like the last year I really mm. believed. Yeah. But I do. With the, Pearl figured it out like a year ago. And I gave her, hey, don't you fucking ruin this for your sisters. <laughs> and so. <laughs> she knows. She plays ball. I heard you at it the other day with her. Don't say anything. Yeah. Because what do kids I do? No, it wasn't about Santa. It was about the two. I bet, I bet Andy. No, it was I about Santa. I bet Andy Santa. worked it out. No, Andy's no. still a firm believer. Dad, she, she is... believes like with every fiber of her being yes. that Santa is real and that he. That's so nice. Yeah. It's kind of like an, uh, like an anti-climax. When you find out, you go, oh. Yeah. It's, it, it, with Christmas and me, the build-up is so fucking, you know, you, you, your expectations, mm -hmm. and the, it's such an anticlimax the next day. So, you know, if you especially you didn't get what you wanted, what you wanted, or your brother or your sister got a better gift than you, or, so it's, it's kind of you know, it's like an anticlimax. The build-up is bit bigger than the actual thing itself. You know? Yeah, and that when you it's, it's like a roller coaster. But I love the, all the other, the build-up. Like, yeah. I like the Christmas sweater parties and the white elephant parties. Mm -hmm. I'm going to one on Saturday. Do you remember when we were in the Palisades and we did the um, tree decorating party? Oh, that was fun. Yeah. yeah. The, and everybody uh, brought a decoration yeah. for the tree. That might have been my favorite childhood period living in the Palisades. Really? Yeah, it yeah. was great. I loved it. We it, did have a good time. You know why I loved it? Because it, I, I felt like I was living in E.T. It was like E.T. It, like the community and Halloween and just like everything about that. It was nice. It was it amazing. Was. Like why did we never move back to the Palisades when we moved back? You didn't like why? it? No. Why? You didn't like it. Sharon, I didn't have any ch choice. Oh. <laughs> I would have Come loved. On, I would have... I'm getting it today. No, no, what no, have no. I done? What no, have no, I'm not I'm angry. <laughs> Just ask a question. 1992. So we, yeah, we we moved out of the 93, right? Because mm. it, it was like the. F Isn't yeah. that crazy that we can go? Oh, that was 1992, or that was, mm -hmm. and yeah. you know exactly. No, I'm not having a gosh. We moved that many times. It's so, how many times? Count how many times we moved. Oh, the rented or bought. Can't. There's too many. Can Couldn't I tell you possibly what house we were living in? That was my favorite house that I have the best memories of. Where the Don Johnson and Melanie Griffiths house. Great house. Where I love that house, and I slept in Dakota Johnson's bedroom and on a bed that said Dakota, and I lived in. We lived in that house for 
quite some time. How long did we live there for? A, nine months to a year. No, no, longer. no, longer. Really? We had it two years. Two years. Yeah, it was like two years. And what was so great about that house is like that was all when we were kind of really starting to figure things out and be our own little people. And yeah. we had a great Manny at the time. We had Jeremy Schluntz. <laughs> and it was just... And matzo balls in the pool. And he well. lived in what we called Kato Kalen's bedroom. Yeah. And Do you remember going through the roller decks? Yeah. Because when, when we rented the house, it's as if they, they literally just took the clothes and left. They left everything in the office because I think What's they the were... Like, remember the, the roller numbers, numbers. numbers. Telephone oh, numbers. Yeah, yeah. And they, and like Melanie Griffith and Don Johnson left their roller decks in the house. I mean, this is how long ago it is because they yeah. have been divorced. Well, no, they were going through the divorce. The, oh, that's, that's why right, we, yeah. that's why the house was for rent. And we went, would go through and we would crank call all the famous people <laughs> in the fucking roller decks. <laughs> there was like Pacino ah! and like all like the great old school, you know. That was, that was as though we used to do them prank call. It, it's so miserable now you can't do prank phone calls anymore. Can find it's you like such that. enjoyment I used we to get used to from it. We spend hours. I can remember Tony. The best. Was, uh, the funniest one of it was the... Uh, we're in, a, we're in a hotel. What's that hotel in London? By Lord's Cricket Ground. By Lord's Cricket. We go, we go there for Sunday lunch. Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. I can't and this remember guy the comes, name of it. comes to it England w, from, um, from, from, from New York to do an interview with me. And he stay <laughs> And he starts to hit on the waitress. So we get Tony to phone the guy up and say he was the waitress's husband. And he's gonna come around and beat the shit. <laughs> and, he, and he's got his, he's, he ain't. He's <laughs> explaining so it's funny. <laughs> well, he got so freaked out by it that he went and slept in the police no, station. He moved hotel. And told oh, him yeah, to, he did. He moved hotels. And, to, 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 and then Tony to, tracked him. <laughs> the husband tracked yeah, him. Yeah, thank you to get away from him. He goes, oh, my oh, God. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for you. No, that is so funny. <laughs> and then he went and sat in the um, police station, police station <laughs> till his flight went in the morning and then went from the police station to the and airport. And just some journalist. Yeah. <laughs> It's funny. Wait. Did he ever know that it was you? Do you? Do you remember Boston Ozfest? Yes. The Russian yes. fucking bellboy that you invited to the show and yes. ended up on the tour bus with us. Oh my god! And he was just some fucking random Russian bellman who was like maybe twenty two. Yeah. You I can't remember. I think yeah. you were it, it was You must have bought drugs off him you or had something. Because be like why was he on the bus? Yeah, you like you <laughs> formally invited him to the show in Boston. He's on the tour bus and it was like the rap party for Ozfest, so there was a crazy fucking party with Those like parties were crazy strippers and whatever. And and he just I just remember being wasted with, and I'm like, who is this guy? And he was just this like it. drunk Russian hanging out for the afternoon, for the whole day, <laughs> yeah. and then never saw the guy ever again. Can you imagine that guy sat around being like, all right, so this one time I was at, working at a hotel and Ozzy Osbourne <laughs> invites me to the gig. He was, it was like a I mini. I can't remember that at all. He was living his his own almost famous yeah. like yeah. adventure. I can't remember that at all. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's talk about who would be on the naughty list and who would be on the nice list. I mean, I would say without any shadow of doubt in my mind that mom would be on the naughty list. For what? For mom! What? I don't know. I feel like maybe naughty list. I don't know, though. Mom, you're the naughtiest person I know. You are pretty naughty. Pretty cheap. Naughty. 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 It's always funny. Naughty. No. Um, I, I, mean, oh, I mean, on, on, on um, the bad list. Oh, yeah. On the, on the cold list. Yeah. Dad would be on the nice list 1000%. I think Dad would be on the neutral list. Neither naughty nor bad. He's just, he just is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Jack, you're too good of a person. No, I, I, is there a stressed out list? I'd be yeah. on the stressed out list. Same. Yeah. Where's the? I feel like as you get older, there needs the to be naughty, changes. nice. There should be yeah. stressed out. There should be anxious. And if you're stressed, you get some sort of relaxing gift. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh wait. Speaking of gift, 
What does everyone? What does what's everyone want for Christmas? Oh my I don't want lord! Anything. You should see. Oh my god! Yeah, Jack. What can I just say? Sent me. Your Christmas list blew me away send? because I was like, "Oh, this won't be that much money. I'll get this for him. six thousand dollars." That's no. why I said, "Hey, listen, this is stuff I want. I'm not expecting anyone to get it for me, but I'm just if, in fact, like that one year I bought you diamonds and you bought me a toothbrush. If you wanted to, like." <laughs> Flip that round. And I did flip that round. What about the year I got you on a fighter jet plane? That was 10, 12 years ago, longer. But still, I've done really cool yeah. gifts for you. Yeah. And, and please give the backstory on that one. Jack <laughs> said to me this year, don't spend more than this on my Christmas gift. So I took him seriously and I said, okay. And I was really excited to give him his Christmas gift, thinking that he was going to be in the same ballpark as myself. And he hands me diamonds and... I got him a fucking electronic toothbrush and I felt so bad. <laughs> hey, what about this year though? Jack wants heat seeking binoculars. And is one of them um, like a ghost hunting thing? No. It's what all... is it for? A thermal. Okay. I so, want to get a set of, uh, of uh, thermal. That's what I sent mum these thermal binoculars, which are the greatest things I've ever looked through. $3,000. But that's no, wrong. Six. No. I'm just saying. Listen, I just threw it out there. In, Can I in, just ask? Yeah. I'm gonna what are you some, trying to I'm look at with $6,000 binoculars? Huh? I want to get a thermal sight. Yeah, I got. so I got this thing you just attach to the end of your, you just have your regular scope and you just goes right in front of it and yeah. so you don't need a different scope. Am I uh, correct in thinking that thermal scope's like 25 grand? No, well, you can't. There are ones that are because like that. Because I remember looking at a thermal scope with Dad. It's about, and... the one that I have is like 3,000. Okay. Um, But... Anyway, so the th listen, I it's I'm I what I prefaced what was it. What's the camera thing? The, no, that that's a box that you use for long range shooting, and it tells you how far your target is. It's a range finder that mounts oh. on your gun. Don't they okay. have that in the uh, army where they look? Yeah, and then... yeah. Hog hunting. Yeah, exactly. So. I was I was watching talking of the hogs. I was watching one the other day on, on YouTube, and these guys got fucking shit. Machine guns. Yeah. Fucking full on. Do you have hogs in Idaho? No, not near me. I think in southern Idaho that there are, but I, I think mean, they have in Texas, in Texas, they do so much damage. Yeah. Do you I know mean, what they have in Iowa? What? Fucking mountain lions. Yeah, all over Idaho. Oh my but, god. No, yeah, but that makes sense because there is like mountainous terrain <laughs> in Iowa. It's flat. It's pretty flat, and there's I like there's in. There's gotta be hogs in Idaho. In there are. But in um, oh, yeah. in the uh, little small town where we live, it's there's this one mountain lion that every <laughs> local man has been trying to get and kill because it keeps oh, killing no. everybody's chickens. And I'm like, don't kill it. No, mountain it. lions kill are it. no, 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 no. Mountain lions are not your friend. No, They're no, not. that's the thing. Out of everything, wolves, bears, whatever, mountain lions are what scare me the most, well, especially was, with kids. There was a, Mom, they there hang was out someone, there was a woman on, on, a, on a trial in LA, walking, and, she, and this fucking thing followed her. Leps upon her. Okay, so that one, that was P90. Was it, what was it? The P one, yeah, like the famous yeah, one. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah. P98, is that what it Yeah, was? it was something like that. I Did I tell you the story about being in the barbershop? No. So I'm in the barbershop getting my hair cut, and this guy's next to me, and he's like, yeah, so then the news came around, and, and I just started overhearing. He was the guy in Silver Lake walking his dog, and the oh. fucking mountain lion popped out of the bushes and got his got dog. His dog and so it was because of him that they were like, all right, we got to kill the lion because he's now eating dogs in the middle of Silver Lake. And so then they then they took the then they took it out. Yeah, but think about it. If if a mountain lion went for Ruby, you'd want it. Oh, my. No, I, 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 I honestly mountain lions. Are, yeah, they are. They are no joke. They are. Mind, mind you, though. these guys shooting with a, them sights in, in, with their guns on a stand thing. Uh-huh. And the hogs, they're like, and these hogs turn and attack them. Oh, they came after the guy hunting him. And his legs going into his body. Yeah, fun. hog will kill you. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I got them fucking big oh, fangs. Oh, that's so ugly. But they, ki they killed one. It was a 700, no, 875 pound one thing. 
Wow. Eight, 875 pounds. Hogzilla. It's got to be as big as this. Yeah. Ew. It's fucking God. huge. So anyway, what I want for Christmas is thermal binoculars. A, uh, this rangefinder, yes. and then a um, I, I, I a threw, toolkit. No, a thermal drone. A thermal What's drone. A thermal oh. drone. Thermal drone. A drone has a thermal camera on it. Did oh, you yeah. throw that and in? How, yeah. oh. how much are they? It's expensive. Like how much are they, Jack? I think it was like four grand. Okay. Well, my Christmas present. Well, okay. I don't want anything for Christmas. Mm-hmm. But mum asked me if she was going to get me something, what I would want. And then I realized that it still cost more than what you're asking for. Oh, so why am I the asshole? Well, <laughs> I said you asked to me, you. not mum. What, what did I write back to you? What do you really want? No, I said these things aren't very pretty. Yeah, you said they're not they're very so pretty. That's what he wants, but things. if he wants them, that's what he did. He's only to saying, Jack, he's only saying, he's only saying if you... If you, me, if, you, if you if you are going to buy if me... If you want it... No, want um, it. don't buy me a fucking hat with a, ba- a badger I, or a woolly jumper. What I would really like okay. is a thermal... I, I will say this. Please don't buy me another coat. I won't buy you another <laughs> coat. <laughs> Please. Every Christmas. They're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. The jackets you buy me are amazing. I just don't want you to get cold. I, I have I've a closet. I've got more overcoats than a fucking... Streaker. <laughs> Gang of them. All right. What, so, what do you want for Christmas? Come clean at the car wash. Okay. So, one is the Chaparelli jacket, which is like. How much is that? $8,000. Okay. <laughs> which I don't think I'm going to get. What is it? So, if you get her that jacket, get me the drone and the binoculars. Right. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to get you the binoculars. No, I wanted to get you the distancey thing. No, okay. the thing drone. is. <laughs> you've got to make, get it all out because if, you, if everybody says, oh, I'll buy me the binoculars and you get four sets of binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be packing like this. Um, <laughs> no, no, he do, could I, have the girls do, all of you I do, in I do, I do see with them, them thermal binoculars. Yeah. I've got night vision, but it's not the same. No, thermal's a game changer. Yeah. It's all the rage now. Night vision's... <laughs> Kel, I like what we want. Okay, and then, so and your then, jacket. And, and then a new Bottega. What's that? Like a, a place where you buy like meat, oh like a deli. No, it's a handbag. I tell you what. What? A wait, a bodega? Bottega. Do you oh. have a specific make? What's it? Because there's gonna be different ones. Yeah, no, you I You know, said... we have the we have it all that Jack <laughs> wants. Um, oh yeah, I have it all on here. Uh, so wait, what's a so a, a bag? Is that yeah. like okay? And then what else? Boots. There's these boots that I love. Are they made for walking? No. No, mom hates them. Uh, they're I think... ridiculous boots. Oh, are you getting the big rubber cartoon boots? No, I hate those. <laughs> um, it's They're these boots that Louis Vuitton made, and they're meant to make your legs look like doll legs. It's, it's, a, it's a black shoe with a white sock and then flesh. It looks like a prosthetic leg. Yes. And that's you what Kelly You got magic wants. legs. Yes, I want fucking magic legs. They are amazing. <laughs> And <laughs> magic because I, and what I haven't the... seen anybody wear them right. Mean, you don't have to shave your legs. legs. No, there are, these. I will have it, magic legs boot, if I get these, these boots. These boots look like prosthetic legs, and Kelly wants what them. What the fuck would anybody want to have fake legs? Boots looking like fake legs. I, I think they're so cool. In case you were a pirate. But, but, but what? What do they? I'm explaining. Oh, if you could imagine, I'll show you a picture. picture. Sure. They are ridiculous. They're not. Listen, Mum, you don't understand. Fashion what? is is in the oh, eye of the a prosthetic leg. <laughs> and that, that, that episode we did about the robots and fucking AI. <laughs> yeah, because can you imagine what they're gonna have us all dressed like? I saw somebody last night having a boxing match with a robot. Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna go well until they. Put Can you machine. imagine when the robots get their union together? Oh, that's right. The, the robot Here union. No punching us anymore. Are you ready, Dad? Oh, yeah. shit. Hold on. And then they're going to... That's the boot. Dust boot? Okay. Let me see. I think they're so cool. It. So... So it's like a well, look, It does look like a prosthetic leg. Yeah. It does. That's it. I think they're so cool. But that's not but somebody not, with a pair not, of socks and shoes on. That's, but why not just get a sock and a shoe? And wear it. And wear a skirt. 
What a because it doesn't look as good. <laughs> okay. So a boot that looks like a leg. Yeah. <laughs> It's like leg lamp. It's leg lamp from a Christmas no, story. No, literally. You want leg lamp. Yep. Oh my god. So if I you think so, that's so if you cool. buy, so when you wear them out, you can put a lamp on it. So yeah. <laughs> Kelly wants leg lamp. All right, Dad. What do you really? want? There has to be something. He that does. You... He wants those binoculars. Binoculars. Oh, there you go. But maybe they'll get a discount. Buy two. You get maybe discount. Do on you them. have one of those things to go hunting in that's warm? A coat? Mom. No. <laughs> You're gonna buy so you me a hunting bought, jacket. No, you just, bought him every single thing that he no. could possibly need to be warm. What do you mean? He it's a vest. like a vest that heats up. Oh, I don't have an electric hunting vest, and I will say my biggest complaint hunting last week was I was fucking freezing. freezing. Well. Oh yeah. If you want to, here's another thing. Those electric boot insoles. That oh, heat I've seen up. them. Do you want those? Uh, the the, the rangefinder is a good idea. Yeah, the rangefinder is great. It's good. So we had sort of saying to you before. I wanted to get. So in you the want range thermal finder. binoculars too? See, uh, Th- we're the thermal bros. Because I, I, I've got the, the I bought the uh, night vision. I go, what the fuck did I buy these for? I yeah. couldn't find uh, thermals for the baby at REI. Um, we were okay. looking for snowsuits too for I the ha- girls. We um, can't find them. Everything's I know the sold girls out. have snowsuits. They I, do. They're good on that. Okay. Yeah, I have so much fucking snow gear. It is insane. We got Pearl a scooter with a sidecar. Yeah, oh, Jack, it's the coolest off. thing, no, and, really, and so the maple the can go in the sidecar. You've ever seen okay. with a little sidecar. Yeah, is and it for an eleven? Well, yeah, it's for, a Vespa for, 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 sure. for Pearl. It's not a real Vespa; it's a yeah, toy. Yeah, but we got that. I found it this morning, and that's what we got. It's from fantastic. Pearl. And do you want to see it? Pearl doesn't want to. And do you, do you want to see she what? Probably does. She does. It's so cute, Ozzy. Look, you have to see it because there's a little place for maple, and we got her a helmet too. Oh my God. Pearl. She's got to have a helmet driving a scooter. Look. That is amazing. Oh, my God. They're going to freak. Mm. So, and then I got Andy a pink one and Minnie a pink one. Be careful. One, but they don't have a Don't sidecar. allow okay. it to go and on the road. Minnie's is a V6. Yes. No, well, Minnie's do is a V6. Do not allow it on the road. Uh, Andy and Pearl's are V12s. That's, a, that's, that's an accident one. You know? It's all right. Helmet. You know? yeah, but, but it's, a, it's an accident one. You know? We'll keep it safe. We have a, my neighborhood I'm in is pretty yeah, good for that. There's a, there's okay, a couple of good like okay. cul-de-sac streets where it's not crazy. Um, what do you really want for Christmas? Yeah, uh, mum wants this watch. Nothing really. I've got everything. What do I need? Well, that's the thing. It's like I, I hate I buying everything. gifts for you guys. I have everything I need. Do you know what I do for mum every Christmas? Oh. Is I make mum a stocking and I fill it with... Little knick-knacky news. Mm-hmm. But they're not just little knick-knacky news. They're like designer knick-knacky news. A that... toothbrush? I gave mum a toothbrush and then I found her like tweezers, but they weren't just tweezers, they were tweezers that had a ruby in them. Oh god, I take and a day off these fucking exercises and I'll feel like It's I'm doing you in. I'm dead to Hey, re- yeah. recovery is just as important I'm as sorry, exercise. Guys, I'm down to that. I'm fucked today. Don't have to apologize, Dad. We get yeah. it. All right, well, um, so we'll we'll figure out something to get you for Christmas. Oh, you can get me one of those heated things. I'm going to get you the heated waistcoat. Okay, I'll get you a heated one for sure. I got mama. Put it in there. It'd be like a, like a Giorgio. <laughs> yeah, does uh, does Louis Vuitton make one? <laughs> Prada, a Prada heated vest. Yes. Lovely. All right. Well, let's wrap this up because I need to go Christmas shopping. Do you really? Wow. I do. I am like, I'm so behind. Yeah. Oh, we're going Christmas hunting. Yeah, we're going exactly. <laughs> All righty. Yes, yeah, send somebody. Uh, what do you? What is those things? Some, hogs. Th- yeah, hog hunting. Hog hunting. That's hog. what. That's what you can do for dad. Nice Christmas. I don't. Send us I hog don't. Hunting. You know, I don't like to kill things anymore. But I tell you what, you, you got you, these hogs. Fucking this. They could. They do. In Texas, in Texas, they do billions of dollars of damage every year. Well, why don't they cull them? That's what. That's why hog hunting is year round, and you can just. Oh. That's, that's why they you can go ham. machine oh, guns and uh, fuck it. Very the funny. The guys on the, uh, with the machine gun was, I thought, well, I've seen it all now. Have you seen He's it? He's on a fucking thing with one of them. 50 cows, right? You know, they eat the hogs and they're like spinning in the air. Oh, my good God. I've, I've, I went helicopter hog hunting once. Oh, let's so see. Merry funny. Christmas now. Merry Christmas. Merry right. Christmas. Yes, Merry Christmas. And this is the one we got the girls. There's millions of them in Texas. And oh, in Florida. God. Florida. Yeah. That's so cute. Isn't it? And then they have pink helmets. 
and then and and Kelly will Carl. buy them all those boots, but they Louis Vuitton the, boots to wear on yes. the scooters. Yeah. They eat all kinds of fucking cars. They eat each other. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Mm. All right, well, uh, let's wrap this up. Adios, yeah. Merry Christmas, ho ho ho, motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, can I just Merry say Christmas. one thing really quickly before we leave? Can we just thank everybody who subscribes to our channels yeah. and listens yes. and watches and wish them a happy, safe Christmas and all <laughs> holiday season, whatever it is you you believe in, and a, an incredible two thousand. Merry Christmas, yes. happy Christmas, and may your happy God Monica. go with you. Happy whatever it is. Happy Christmas, Kwanzaa. But perfect. Yeah, every, yes. every, we covered all the bases. And, uh, oh yeah, and happy winter Happy solstice. New Year. Uh, Merry, uh, happy Christmas and a wonderful New Year to everybody. <laughs> <laughs>